I'm going all about with this. And the one that I had is broken. Here we go. I just got that dreaded sign. You're off. I'm off to a tennis lesson. Then I'm heading somewhere exciting, obviously. We haven't really done anything together like this, but. This is all a bit cryptic, isn't it? This is a really bad idea. I've lost like a pan and I'm like, I don't know, I just don't. Yes, so I came to. Okay. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I am out in my Lexus car, which I. afternoon I am just out doing some photos you can see in the background I've got Michael there doing some videos of the car we're out it's actually a really nice day so we're gonna do some racing down the road me driving the car do some photos inside as well um, I've got on this new blue top so this is phase 8 I've got my phase 8 bag here as well um, so I'm gonna be posing with the car in this I've also got another top to put on as well you can see him there just going around we're trying to get some footage of outside of the car and then we'll move it inside the car and do some uh, video in there too i am back from the photo shoot we did quite a few shots in the car driving back and down up the road it's quite cool and then he jumped to the back and did some shots of me driving from the back seat but yeah it was a really good shoot so i'm pretty exhausted after that the house looks like it's been burgled but i'm going to sort out all the clothes because then i've got to go and get this car back so those of you that didn't watch last week you won't know what i'm going on about with this car so i've been doing an ad with lexus car leads and i've been driving one of their new cars which is fully electric i'm going to put the details of it below so you can go and find out about it but this is for a post that i'm doing on instagram um and it's just making people aware of this fully electric car and how cool it is it is actually really cool it's like a a spaceship like you go in it looks like a spaceship and then you get in it and you're like oh, wow i'm in the spaceship um really nice to drive very smooth just lovely so i've had it now for four days i think and i haven't charged it up once i've still got loads of charge left which is great i've been to york and back about four times uh been to harrogate i've been to leeds i've been everywhere so totally recommend it but anyway i'll show you around again so you can see it if you didn't watch last week's vlog when i get back in for now though i wanted to show you my new top so this is a cashmere roll neck it is from holland cooper can you see the detail on the arm there if i get my face out there we are so it's got lovely button detail and then it's got this embroidery because it's part of their Victoria range. If you don't know this, go and have a look on the website. They've got the most beautiful suit jackets, waistcoats and trousers for this season that have just come out and they're so nice. So the thing about this top is it's got shoulder pads, which I was a bit like, oh gosh, how's this going to work with me? I think this vest maybe needs changing. I'm going to try and find, I want to try and find like an all-in-one body but like a pull-in one. Uh, I've got a christening coming up and the one that I had is broken. The strap just undid and I was like, oh gosh, so I need to find one of those this week. If anyone's got any recommendations, please do let me know. Um, but I've got this on. I've also got it on with some Holland Cooper jeans that I'm gonna show you now. So I've got the jeans on. These are bootlegged jeans. They're very high waisted and they go right up to above my belly, right up here. I've just tucked this in, but then there's sort of a French tuck to kind of cover up this area here. This is my problem area. Because it's all one colour, I'm hoping it doesn't show up as much. But this is so cosy, this knit. It's so nice. So I actually just teamed it with this jacket. So this is, sorry, a blazer. This blazer is new. It is from... Fairfax and Favour, can you see there? Can, if I get out of it there, we've got our Fairfax and Favour. And we've also got, here we are, beautiful detailing on the pocket, on the cross, so it's like a beautiful crest. Um, so I've been photographing that actually, just to get the detail of it. So I'll put this on to show you. It's like a wool blend. Uh, it's not too heavy. I was a bit worried about it being wool and being quite thick. 
Um, but I really like this look. I think with a really smart Fairfax and Faber handbag, this is just really beautiful. I feel very cozy. I've got my detail out on my cuffs. Let me just pull that down like that. And I'll just show you the full outfit. Just trying to try and change location so you can see uh, the outfit. Let me try and go further back here. Can you see that? So there we go. I've got on some little uh, hobs boots that were actually last season. I feel like I need to take the jeans up a little bit. But what I'm actually going to do is wash them and see if they go up a, a bit. I'm not sure they will. They kind of just touch the floor, but they're just a bit too long on the bottom. Really like them though. I think they're really nice jeans. They fit really nicely. The blazer's gorgeous too. I just feel really kind of smart and cosy for autumn winter. I like this look, I'm feeling very smart. I need to find my handbag and then I need to go and drop this car back. But I'll show you around the car when I get in. I'm gonna go now, but I put the jeans on with this kind of plum top. This is from, where is it, phase eight. They've got some lovely knitwear in at the moment, really nice. I've still got on this green necklace. This is one from, Mo I can never say it, Monica Veranda. And I think I've got a discount code for them. I'll try and remember to put it below. Um, so yeah, I've put this on like with the jeans. I really like them. I do need to take these jeans up, do I? They're just that fraction too long. Maybe if I wash them, they might be a bit better. And I think they would also look better with pointy boots or pointy shoes. Uh, but I've just got them on with the blue because I'm going to go out now to go and take this car back and then I'll just give you one last view of the car. So this is the car, it's an RZ. It's obviously in this kind of like blue colour, I thought it was blue and then my daughter said no it's grey, I was like is it? it? You can see it kind of looks like a spaceship, you can see from the back there. My little boy loved it. This is obviously the side of it and then you plug it in here to charge it up i'll just show you so you push it in like that and then it opens up and that is your charger and then you've obviously got the fast charger here which will charge it up quicker for you if you were like on the motor wheel or something like that so that's quite cool uh it's got the same charger that we've got for our cars so that's great we can plug that in um i haven't had to plug it in though because i've i have used it loads but it's just really efficient let me shut that up oh, i think you push it in here there we go, like that. And then if I come around here, this is the front of the car. So you can see it there. Really nice, isn't it? And then the back is very spacious. Come in here, really spacious. So I did do a full tour on my last vlog. So if you're really interested, you can actually go in and see it properly. Uh, the boot is huge as well. Let me see if I can get that open for you. Here we go. So it's really big. Much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And then the chargers that just put underneath here. There we go. It's quite big. Like that's really deep. You can get loads in here. Anyway, it's really nice to drive. So lovely. So to turn the car on, you have to press this power button and your oh, the foot button down, to, down the bottom. There we go, and it's coming on, here we are. Lexus. And then it comes on to here. Programming in where we're going. And then we're going to start moving here. I'm just gonna put it into reverse so I can see show you what that's like. You have to push down here and then you push onto, oh, drive, that's drive, and the other way is reverse. Oh, look, and then we get this beeping. Check your surroundings, safety. It's got great camera, hasn't it? So I will put the phone down, because I'm about to drive, and then I'll show you when I get to Lexus and Leeds. So I've just arrived. I'm really sad to say goodbye to this car. Here is Lexus in Leeds. I'm gonna go and take it in now and go and meet the team inside and try and find my car, which I've left here.
just popping on to show you these. I'm just going to sit down and do some work. The kids are finally in bed. Oh my gosh, everyone's so tired tonight. Um, but I've put these on my face um, because they're so nice and relaxing under your eyes. So sometimes I just sit with this under my eyes in the evening. And then when I go to bed, I take them off. And it honestly makes such a difference. Um, I just got these on Amazon. I'll try and put the link below to show you. But let me show you what so it looks excuse like. Excuse the state of me. Uh, but there we go. They're on. So they just kind of stick on like that. And then I just sit with them like this. The kids think it's hilarious. But oh, they really are quite soothing and really nice to put on. And in the morning, I definitely notice a difference. So if you need some de-puffing eye treatments, then I do recommend these. Good morning, I just got that dreaded sign. Your iPhone is full of photos. I'm heading out early this morning. I'm off to have a tennis lesson, except I can't find my tennis racket. It's not even my tennis racket, it's my mum's tennis racket. Um, so it's really old and I can't find it. So I've taken one of the kids' ones. I think this guy's gonna think, what, what is, who is this? What, what's going on? So I'm having a private lesson. This might be my one and only first and private lesson and I probably will never have one again. But after playing it in the summer, I was like, I'm really enjoying this. So my sister's been doing tennis lessons in London. I was like, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Something for me. Hi. Um, good afternoon. It's actually afternoon now. I did the tennis coaching. I got absolutely soaked. Like literally we were in the middle of it and it just poured down anyway we continued on and it was really good it was really good fun um it's really nice to do something for me it was lovely i feel a bit naughty though um like i shouldn't have really done that but i was just saying to someone earlier on that i feel like for the last 11 years all i've ever done is think about the children do stuff for them and i just haven't done anything for me really like I really want to do a course I want to I'd love to go back to uni you know I'd love to do all these sorts of things but I've never really had any time or anything that was about me so this was really nice it was like a little luxury plus a bit of exercise so I'm heading out to a meeting now I'm heading into York oh my gosh my hair's a bit knotty um the necklace has fallen off this necklace is really not doing well today I've lost one necklace. I don't know where I put it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my outfit. Let me turn this around. So I'm just going to head for a meeting, but I've got my LK Bennett wedges on, which I find really comfy because they're not too high. Uh, these are Holland Cooper jeans. These are the Jobper jeans. I've just washed them, so they're a bit tighter, but I could actually go down a size, I think, now. And I wish they were darker. But anyway, they're, they're really nice on. They fit really well. And I recommend the jeans. They come up nice and high. And then I've got on this blouse. This is from Hobbs. And then the jacket is Hobbs too. And I'm thinking, shall I bring a kind of raincoat jacket too? I feel like I should. I think there's one in the car, which is just my little throw on one, just in case it absolutely pours down. And then I've got something uh, so that I don't wreck my hair. I've got my Holland Cooper belt on as well which is really nice. Now I need to fix my necklace. I'm running now, so I'm gonna to go to this meeting. I will show you a bit around York. I'm gonna try and do some work afterwards because I then have to pick up a load of kids. So I've got a time to... Good morning, I've just come back from a Macmillan coffee morning uh, where there were so many amazing cakes. I didn't eat any, you'll be so pleased with me. But um, I did get some for the children. So I've got those in the kitchen now ready to go. I'm just gonna go out to the gym to do my coaching with Oatman Coaching. I am on my second day this week. Yesterday I did my tennis, which was really good. My arms are aching today. And then Monday I did my workout, so Wednesday is another day to do it. And then I'm heading somewhere exciting this afternoon, so I will fill you in later on. I've got to go and get all this off and get my makeup off, get my gym kit on.
So we are doing a cooking course tonight. It is a meat cooking course. I, I do like meat. I'm more of a fish and more of a veggie fan. However, when this event came up and they invited me to come, they were like, would you like to bring somebody? I was like, yes. I said my husband would really like this. So we haven't really done anything together like this for ages, but I've invited uh, like as a press, an ad or whatever it is to come and document the event. So I'm going to put some bits on here and hopefully put a bit on my Instagram as well um, so I can show you what we get up to. They do do different courses at Fodder and so this is just one of the ones that they've got up at the moment. So it'll be really interesting to see how it all works and how it's run. Um, it's seven minutes past and I'm supposed to be in there already so I better go but I will take you with me of course and you can see what we get up to on the cooking course. Tonight we've got Mehdi who is our head chef, uh, we have got nice. Jack who is our head butcher, Hello. in the back hiding away is Stefan who is a chef as well. Different meats which I'll explain these guys to do, you'll have a chance to um, talk to Guy who is over here who is our farmer. The two chaps will obviously uh, pass on their expert knowledge about cooking and the meat. So first of all, so we're going for five cuts tonight, so we've got ribeye steak which is the third over aged, we've got short ribs which is made into a shot cooked pen. Hi, good evening everyone. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. Uh, you must uh, hope you have been in Foda maybe once or twice in the past year, so you a little bit know what we are. And uh, we're just going, I'm going to show you quickly how to cook them and how different they are and how we, we can use them. Um, but you always wanted to farm. So the chance came up and bought a small farm at Wyke, just outside Leeds. And then um, after about five years after that, in about 1956, I think, at the Harewood estate sale, when there was uh, sale for the inheritance tax, they, they, uh, they bought uh, Paul Bank Farm, which is North Brinton, and then we bought the Running House Farm panel. We have about 20 cows ourselves, mainly continental crosses, and we have uh, traditional beans, uh, breeds as well. The farm runs to about 500 acres, so we grow about 250 acres of cereals with the mill ourselves. Hi, I've just got back from a meeting at York in York, not at York. I've just come back to all the breakfast out everywhere. I'm like, oh, I've got another meeting online this afternoon, a really cool Zoom meeting about something that I am doing. I can't tell you, so that's really annoying. I shouldn't have mentioned that, but it's going to be good, I promise. I had a meeting in York today all about an event that I'm organising. I'm very excited about it. I've just been sorting out the invites for that. It's going to be like an invite only I'm going to invite people that I think would like to come to the event. This is all a bit cryptic, isn't it? You're like, just tell us stuff we want to know. I'll tell you all in due course. But anyway, so the meeting was about that. And then we're actually going away this weekend. We have got a christening down south. One of my best friends from school, her little girl is getting christened. So I didn't, haven't bought anything because I'm that disorganised. So I've just bought, uh, went to Fenix when I was in town and I've just bought one of these, which is a Mason Pearson hairbrush. So if you don't know this brand, you should know them. Um, they've been around for millions of years and I still have my hairbrush from when I was a little girl. So there are people that sell hairbrushes with names written on them and that would have been the easiest thing to do, but obviously I'm that disorganized that I haven't arranged it and it's obviously on Saturday. So I thought, I buy her a hairbrush, they're quite expensive. So this small one was 63 pounds. And really I think I would have quite liked to have bought the bigger one, which was 90. But anyway, she's little and I still use my little one that I had from when I was little. And then I bought some paints to paint on the back of it. We'll try and put an image up of what I'm actually trying to achieve. So I, the paints side of it, it's really tricky. A couple of years ago I did this and I found Normal paints don't work, acrylics don't work, obviously like that. So you have to go to places like Warhammer. I don't know if you've ever been there. Uh, my brother used to do that when he was little and so we spend lots of time in there. But before I've done lots of research into it and found that these are the only paints that will stay on. Um, so I have gone and bought some pink, some white and green. Where's my pink gone? In here. So I can paint on the back of it. I'm now thinking, it's a really bad idea because I have zero time to get this done. But I do love a handmade, thoughtful present and she would like that too. She really would, my friend, she would love that. 
so anyway that's my mission for today apart from also tidying up this house and getting everything packed and ready i've had some lovely things that have arrived from phase eight that i want to show you but before i do let me show you my outfit so i have on a phase eight jumper i really do recommend their um knitwear the really lovely quality not too expensive it's got this longer kind of arm here uh, really comfy it's got a can i show you the top there there we go um, so it's not too much of a roll neck, it just sits nicely on top. So I've got it in this blue colour. I could have done a French tuck with it. I've got the jeans on. So these are Holland Cooper jeans. They are short because I'm short. So this is why I love them come in different leg lengths. So this is, I've got a size 10 short on. I think I could have them taken up. I did wash them. Remember I was talking about washing them kind of okay i think i worry if i take them up i think they'll become too short so anyway, i team that today i've got little black boots on these are old hobbs ones that i love i've just had them rehealed. i've got on a phase eight bag which i really like this is kind of like a bucket bag my mum used to have a bucket bag like this when we were growing up uh, and i just used to remember having filling it up with stuff which is basically what i've done i'm addicted to these is anyone else Literally, they are so expensive, but I'm addicted to them. Roasted mix nuts. So I have treat myself and have a few of these <laughs> occasionally, but I just bought some when I was in Marks because they're really tasty. I love salt and nuts. So there we go. Um, so I teamed it with this oversized trench. So this is a Hobbs one. It's new in at the moment. I love it. And I always get a load of compliments from it. It's just really nice to wear, especially with this random weather. I mean, where's the storm? There's no storm. I was expecting like a massive storm. So I had this for rushing to my meeting um, after my playgroup. So I went to this in playgroup and then I ran to the meeting. Anyway, um, really nice outfit for this kind of weather. I love this trench. It's so nice. Really lovely. It's obviously got the nice lining as well. It's just really nice. Let me show you these things that have arrived from phase eight. So I've just literally pulled them out from the box here. So we've got this beautiful coat, which I was expecting to be like a really heavy wool and it's not. It's a really lovely fabric. It's kind of, I don't know, I want to say kind of t-shirty, but it's like a soft jersey. It's not like what I thought it was going to be. It's got these buttons here. So it's kind of double breasted. And then at the back, it really kind of flows out. I love coats like this where they've really cut and they fit really well. So I'm really looking forward to trying that on. It's also a nice length. I have a real issue with coats in that I like them to cover and go below my dress. So I'm hoping that will work for most things because obviously I'm quite small. It looks really big, doesn't it? What size is it? A 12. Does it look quite big? We'll see. Um, then I've got this, which is incredibly bright for me. When I had my colours done uh, with Anna Spreckles, um, she's Harrogate kind of way at the moment. And she, we talked about obviously colours and my, and I carry around my little colour chart that I got from her. I was really good at the kind of, my purple was a really good colour for me. And I've always been a bit scared of it, mainly because my husband's uniform was this colour. So he's a bit like, oh, anti it. And it, I find it's like an, I don't know, it's a funny colour to wear. It's a bit royal, isn't it? But I do like it. This, I'm slightly worried it's going to be too fitted on me because it's quite clingy. And this is not something I'd normally wear. But I'm trying to branch out with my clothes and try and wear something a bit more adventurous with colour and shape and all that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to trying that on. And then Maybe over here, yeah. I've got another piece. This is from Phase 8 as well. Um, it's got these beautiful sleeves. They do do sleeves really well in Phase 8. They're kind of like balloon sleeves. I really love this colour. It's kind of like a, a teal, I would say. It's just really nice for kind of autumn. And if you're wearing things like jeans, I think it goes really well. You can imagine having that jeans in a blazer. I think that would just look really smart. I really and love that. And then look at these. Wow. I have not had any kind of scrunchy boots, I would say, since I was like at uni. But I saw these and I thought, do you know what? They're not too high. They've got a nice heel. And these would be really nice with like dresses and skirts and like a pair of opaque tights. I think they would go really well. 
uh, you could wear them with jeans, I suppose, like fitted jeans or maybe like uh, faux leather uh, trousers, maybe. I think that would be quite cool. Um, they're really nice. Oh, I love them. And then, oh, these are my favourites. Wait for these. How cool are these? So you will have seen metallics are everywhere at the moment. A lot of silver, I keep saying. But then when I saw these, they were gold. And so gold is more my colour, I think, with my hair colouring and everything like that. I do wear a bit of silver, but I like to combine the two. And I just thought, how cool are these? Again, the heel's not too high. I think I'm going to be okay in those. But those would be great for dresses, skirts, uh, just for adding that pop of, you know, modern coolness. I really like them. So I'm going to try all these on over the next few days and I will show you what they're like. But I'm really impressed. I lo do love the quality as well. Really nice. Good morning. I'm in the gym. You will be uber impressed with me. I've lost like a pound and a half this week, so I'm on the right direction. I've still got about a million pounds to go, but I'm getting there. I'm feeling much better, like much tighter. So yeah, I'm doing this today, this morning. I've just done my weights workout. I'm now gonna go on the Peloton uh, and do the bike. Um, and then I've got a busy morning. I've got a coffee morning this morning with a couple of friends uh, who I haven't seen for ages, so they're coming over. And then I'm heading to, what am I doing? Heading for another meeting, just meetings, I think. I can't really think. I'll come back on later when I've thought. But I'm just trying to get this peloton done now. I'm also watching Victoria. Let me get her up on here to show you. Um, so this is one of my favourite YouTubers. I absolutely love her. It's probably not a great screenshot, is it? If you Google Victoria on uh, YouTube, you'll find her. She is so cool. Like, the coolest person ever. Um, and she talks about fashion and... Um, at the moment she's in Milan do, at the fashion shows there and it's just like another world, it really is. So I've been watching that on the laptop whilst doing it. Anyway, I must get on. Uh, I've got a tight schedule, I've got to get some emails done before they all arrive. Oh, wish me luck. Good morning, I just wanted to show you my new jumper dress. I absolutely love it. It's a very different colour for me, it's kind of... It looks orange here, it's not. It's kind of like a, a rosy red. It's bizarre. I really like it for autumn. It's got this lovely neck. It's not too big and not too thick, this. So it's like a jumper dress. It's phase eight. Jumper dresses are really good in there. I've had quite a lot over the last few seasons and I totally recommend them. They last really well and they're really nice quality. It's very nice and soft, lovely arms. So let me show you what I've got it on with. So I have just teamed it here with my opaque tight. And so it goes longer at the back, which is really nice. And then a bit shorter at the front. And then I've got my legs out, but I've got my tights on. So I buy my tights from all different places, but the place I really like at the moment is called Snag Tights. Snag? Snag tights, I think that's what it's called. I'll try and put a link to them below. Um, they're really good quality, thick, they don't break, they're just really nice. They're nice and high-waisted, I've got them up to here. I just love them, they're really, really good. Uh, I think I need to get some new ones. I always get a navy and a black pair for uh, the start of autumn, and I literally live in them when I'm wearing things like this. So I've also got it on with a pair of Hobbs boots. These are new in at the moment. Really comfy. They're like almost, what do you call them? I don't know what you call them. I've forgotten. Riding boots? Like, I don't know what you call it. What? I'm going mad. Uh, you know what I mean. But they've got a nice chunky heel. And they're leather. They're very soft, uh, kind of buttery to wear. Really nice. Um, so I'm loving my outfit. I've got a meeting later on, so I'm just going to wear this all day, I think. And then we are traveling down south. I just don't know how to turn all these things off. <laughs> We've got so many devices. I'm just like, oh, each TV is different. And my husband's like, how do you not know how to turn the TV on? And I'm like, I don't know. I just don't understand these things. Anyway, turn it off. Um, so I, um, yeah, we're getting ready. I've got to pack as well at some point today. And then I've got to pick up three children. And then we're traveling four hours down south, which I'm not looking forward to. I hate living away from my parents and my family. I find it really hard. And a lot of people say to me, oh, you keep saying you're going home. Are you not home now? I'm like, no, I've been here eight years now in Yorkshire. 
and I always say home is down south. And it, don't get me wrong, I love Yorkshire. I love being up here and this is where our life is now. But I do miss the south, I really do. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and catching up. I think my brother might come, who I'm really excited to see. Haven't seen him for ages. Um, and we are hopefully all going to have a meal tomorrow night and catch up with each other. So the post has just arrived um, and it is a lovely Holland Cooper package. Um, so I work with them over on my Instagram and I'm a massive fan. I love their clothes. So this lovely team there have just sent me um, some God for Dreams, but they're in this kind of brownie autumn colour. Perfect like chocolate brown. Let me get them out and show you. So here they are. Um, I really love all the detail that they have on their products all this kind of um, embroidery here and then the gold detail. It's just really nicely presented and then they fit really well too. So these are quite high-waisted and I do like that about their jeans. I've now got several pairs of them and I really recommend it. These are kind of got a kind of shape to the bottom here and then they kind of go down and so they look like they are jobbers essentially. That's why they're called jobber jeans. The thing I like about these jeans, or lots of their jeans in particular, is they come in different leg lengths. I am quite short, so I always have a short, um, I always pick short. So these are size 10 and they are short. You can get them obviously in different leg lengths, which I think is such a good thing that they offer. Yes, so I caved in, I bought a, like a pull-in body, body, I think that's what it's called. Um, from this brand here. Um, I've seen them like all over social media and I actually bought a dupe one on TikTok. It was really good until it broke. The strap broke. So I had, I had to have it for about three weeks. Uh, obviously it was like half the price or less than half the price of this. Um, but I, got, I had a discount code for here and I just thought, do you know what? I can't afford to buy lots of cheap ones to keep breaking. I've heard these are really good. Uh, I'm just praying that it fits. Um, I'm slightly worried. Anyway, let me just see, see what happens when I put it on. So I've got the bodysuit on. I decided that you probably don't want to see me in full, full bodysuit, but it's really good. As soon as I started putting it on, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get in this. Um, but it's quite tight. But a good tight it's obviously meant to do that i bought it so that i could wear a bra underneath i'm quite big busted anyway so i need a proper bra and i've bought those body suits in the past which have bras fitted and they just never work for me so i think this is going to be a good compromise i've got the jeans on so these are the size 10 jeans i really like them they're a nice autumn color aren't they i think with boots even high boots short boots whatever i think they'd be really nice yeah i'm really pleased with how they look um and they're keeping me all tight and pulled in so i'm hoping <laughs> maybe i'll be able to wear this for a day out you know it won't be too tight anyway i'm really pleased so this was a size small which i think is an eight to ten which was a bit of a risky move for me because I'm more of a 10, 12. But the next size up was 12, 14. And I thought, I don't, I don't want that because it's going to be too loose. I want it to be tight and pulling me in, which it's definitely doing. I'm feeling very pulled in. Um, so anyway, I love the jeans. I'm just about to go and start packing to go away for the weekend, um, which I haven't done. And I need to go and collect the children. So I think this just about works. So this is the phase eight coat that I showed you the other day. Again, I love it because of the fullness on the skirt. I think that is really smart. Really like that. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm really pleased with this whole bodysuit. This has got a slight, slight line to it here coming down. That's from the dress. But actually in terms of um, roly poliness, I think it looks okay. I hope. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I really like this. Oh, it's good. I really need to come back. I need to paint this hairbrush. I've not painted the hairbrush yet. I'm going to go and do that next.
Good morning. Um, we've been for our walk and we are back now. And I've just got ready for the christening. I wanted to show you my dress. I've got a jacket, don't worry, for the church. Um, so this is from LK Bennett and it flows down like this. I've got my gold wedged high heels on. Can you see that? Hold on a minute. I'll tell you what, I'll get Matilda to um, show you what I'm wearing so you can actually see it. Anyway, so we are nearly ready. We're going to head to the church and then we are going to the party afterwards, which I think is in the garden. Let's hope the weather stays like this. It's pretty nice. The sun seems to be coming out now. Um, and then we are coming back here. We're going to have a family meal. So I'm hoping my brother's going to turn up and um, my sister with all her crew. <laughs> millions of kids and we will hopefully have a catch up tonight before we head back up to Yorkshire tomorrow <coughs> what was that? we are finally leaving um, I'm just gonna go on to the wisteria I love this wisteria when it's out it's absolutely stunning yeah we're finally going oh look at these Heading back up north to do the drive. Really don't want to go. Oh, don't want to venture up there. Anyway, see you in Yorkshire.